I think first and foremost it's important to get the results in a clean sheet um, and there's positives to take definitely. I um, was delighted to see Ella Baker make her debut for the team. Um, I think um, credit to Middlesbrough, I thought they were um, they competed well in the game, they made it tough, they made it scrappy uh, but yeah definitely expected us to have more control. Uh, we saw a lot of uh, positional rotation, particularly and most notably between Amber and Demi, sort of rotating in and out of the back line and into midfield. How valuable was that for particularly gaining control of the match in the second half? And uh, how valuable is that sort of positional flexibility to you and the team? Yeah, I think when Demi rolls in, she's obviously got some great technical competencies, so she's able to secure possession for us, which gives us that overload centrally. So, yeah, it's something that's important. Um, it wasn't something we worked on in the game um, or prior to the game, but came out naturally. So, so yeah, I guess it's a tool for us to use in the future. Congratulations, Becky. Um, we talked about Hannah Greenwood towards the back end of last season as a bit of an unsung hero. Mm -hmm. Today, two goals, fantastic performance. What does she bring to this Newcastle United team for you? Yeah, I thought um, Hannah had a particularly good second half. I thought um, some of her. Uh, 1v1 defending was good, I thought she dominated the duels well and obviously she scored both goals from the set pieces which is brilliant and, and credit to the um, staff team Claire and Luke for all the work they've done on our attacking set pieces but um, yeah I think we need to create more in open play so yeah it's a disappointment I guess from my side with that. There's a lot of players that have previously played for Newcastle that are in this Middlesbrough yeah. team, how difficult is it to prepare for a game or is it easy knowing the strengths and possibly weaknesses of the players that have previously played for Newcastle? Yeah, it's positive knowing the strengths of the players um, because then you know what to kind of look out for. Um, and yeah, there's some good players in that Middlesbrough team who've worked with us across the last few seasons and players I've got a lot of respect for. Um, so yeah, there was there was Grace Boys who was you know brilliant for us for the last couple of seasons. Who was a great leader in the group last season. You got Shana who was playing in centre mid, who's you know got a lovely range of technical passing capabilities. There was Ellen Packham who'd helped us, you know. Um, and Lily Bell, who'd helped us get out from tier four to tier three, um, so I could I could go on. So there's lots of players with you know quality in the team, and you know obviously wish them well in the league campaign, and um, hopefully they have a good future there. And just finally for me, good to see the Ekatalo back and get yeah. minutes under a belt, and also McKelly getting a good ninety minutes as well against opposition. That's you know you should get a lot more of the ball against as well. Mm -hmm. Fantastic options as well. Yeah, I'm absolutely del delighted for Leah. Um, I thought she did well in that first half. Actually, I think. She gives us a good attacking option as well at, at right full back um, and you know she had a great shot on the edge of the 18 in the first half which we tested the keeper, probably one of our only threats from open play in the game. Um, but yeah, brilliant to see Leah back, she's a great player, she obviously hasn't played since the London City first game of the season. Um, so yeah, looking forward to really building her back into the squad. Congratulations. Cheers, thank you. Um, obviously you got a good draw in the fourth round last year, so kind of who are you wanting, you know, you want a home draw or a draw, do you have a preference on who you'd like tomorrow night? Yeah, I think we'd um, love a home draw, we love playing in front of our fans, um, we love getting Kingston Park packed out and, you know, probably the weather today hasn't helped things with that, but the fans were really noisy, especially behind that goal, you could hear the hear the kind of the drum and the noise, which was fantastic, so yeah, definitely home fixture, no one in particular springs to mind, but yeah, home, home game would be great. And obviously, I think Blackburn's off now next weekend with their game being postponed. So, yeah. you know, it's a long time since you played in the league. It's a long mm -hmm. time before you play in the league again. Is that yeah. kind of a bit of a headache to you? Yeah, it's disappointing. We would have liked, you know, to continue the momentum and, and have another league game before Christmas. Obviously, we've got Man United on Wednesday, which gives us another good challenge. Um, but yeah, going into that Blackburn game, I guess the positives are we will get players back from injury um, come the new year and, and strengthen the squad further. So in that sense, it's obviously a bonus. But yeah, we wanted to, you know, wanted to play the game. If we won the game, we'd have went third. So yeah, it's it's annoying. You mentioned Man United, obviously. It's a big game, but on the other side of it, it's probably a bit of a dead rubber as well for yourself. So, you know, with Blackburn being off, does that kind of change anything in terms of your team selection and that sort of thing on Wednesday? Yeah, it probably allows us to, to go stronger into the Man United game and, and shift our full focus to the United game, um, because obviously we'd have had to bear in mind the league game comes as a more important fixture for us, where there's already been eliminated from that League Cup table. So, yeah, it means we can go stronger, which is, is really important and gives us a really good chance of competing in that fixture. Cheers. Hello, I'm back hey. well done. Um, has it been a weird week? Because there's obviously no other girls, the girls know each other. 
all in yeah. Newcastle. Is there a bit of banter between the two sets of squads? I don't know really. I mean, I'd imagine so, yeah, because they're probably friends. But I think when you cross the white line, it's, you know, we're professional players, so we can't um, be worried about friendships and other stuff, I guess. Um, when you're competing, it's, it's about who's going to out-compete the other player. So, um, yeah, and we knew it'd be a tough game because we respect the opponents we're playing against, and um, yeah, it was. I bet some of our lot up a little bit later on playing in with them. Uh, but I just wanted to touch on the last one for me is um, injury updates. Obviously, you've seen Alicia pull out of the England yep. squad, which was a shame, but mm -hmm. how far are the girls back? Obviously, it's great to see Leah come back. Yeah, I think Alicia will be returning pretty soon. I think it was, you know, quite low level groin strain, um, which we're delighted about because we obviously don't want her to be out for a while. Obviously, huge disappointment for her not not starting the game um, for England 23. So she was, you know, absolutely devastated about that. And, and I was for her because she deserved the opportunity. But um, yeah, she'll be back soon, which is good. Um, and then. Yeah, there's, there's a few other injuries still in the background, which is disappointing. Obviously, it's frustrating for Sophie Haywood to pick another injury up. We've obviously got Fernie, who brings a lot of experience to the team. We've definitely missed her in the last few games we've played. And um, I was chatting to her the other day saying, you know, those games where we've not quite seen the win out, the one against Charlton and... Um, yeah, the performances, well, which I know she would have contributed to positively, we could have really done with her. So um, hopefully she'll come back early in the new year and um, go from there. Yes, thank you. Cheers. Hi, Becky. Um, obviously, last home game yeah. for 2024. So a good point maybe to reflect how's the first half of the season gone? Has it um, matched your expectations? Yeah, I think we've done well. I think. Um, you know, we're four points off the top of the table. So in that sense, it's a real positive that we're in touching distance of actually being top of the table. Um, there's frustration in some of the games we've dropped points in. You know, those small margins, the game against Charlton springs to mind. The fixture against Durham at home springs to mind. You know, the, the small margins against London City away um, also spring to mind. So I guess it's it's that one that's frustrating. We could actually, our league position could be so much higher if we'd, you know, seen that game out, you know, if we'd if we'd seen the game out against Charlton, we would be in the top three. So in that sense, a real positive. Obviously, there's frustration from the points we've dropped. Um, I was really disappointed with the result against Bristol away. But then we've got to look at, you know, we beat top of the table Birmingham. We um, went to the Stadium of Light and took three points off Sunderland. So to be, you know, competing with teams like that, I think we need to remind ourselves Sunderland finished third in the league last season. Um, Charlton finished second and we've, you know, out-competed those two in games. So, um, yeah, it's been a really good start, but I think it can be the best season we've ever had if we want it to be and continue to move forward positively into the second half of the season. But we'll need much stronger performances than what we saw today. So, yeah. Hi, Becky. Um, I just wanted to ask how much the weather actually impacted the game. Because I've seen some, you know, balls getting stuck in the air and zipping along the pitch. Was that always in your mind to change the set plays and corners and things just to suit the conditions? Yeah, I think the weather does impact, doesn't it? It's, you know, especially with those like wanting to be more direct and in behind. The weather obviously holds the pass up or, or when you're going the other way, it makes the pass go quicker. So, yeah, it, it was you were hard to judge certain flights of the ball and other stuff with the weather. Obviously, wanted to be aggressive from the set pieces with, you know, the wind carrying the ball, hopefully. Um, which obviously was fantastic. It was some good, two good deliveries and then good finishes from Hannah. Um, so yeah, made it a scrappier game I thought. And yeah, it's um, but it was the same for both teams I guess. So yeah, would like to see us got the da ball down a bit more and control possession a bit more. Can I just say, even though you were mentioning like the last, you know, not saying the game after at the end, still quite a positive atmosphere. And I personally still want to go and come and say how much the professor. I just wanted to say well done for creating such a good mm -hmm. vibe around the team and that it's not, it's not a what could have been and still what will happen in the end so it's still a good outlook on it. Yeah, definitely. And like you say, like we're so positive that we're actually complaining we've not seen uh -huh. out three points against the, the quality side such as Charlton and others. So um the margins are so small, we've got to keep working hard to make make sure that we're we're growing as a team. Um and I think we are. It's just yeah, it's teams are tough to play against, you know, credit to Middlesbrough, they came and made the game tough for us today and we've got to um outsmart and outwork the opponents for sure. Well you made my Sunday, so thank you. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Thanks everyone.